Greetings, I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark. Today's Megabyte comes to us from the story of Job. He was rich and now he's poor. He was healthy, now he's sick. He had a family, now they're dead. His wife has lost her faith. His friends have come to sit with him and now they begin to talk. Job chapter three, his friends are trying to figure it out. Why has all of this evil befallen him? Why has he lost all of his money? Why has he gotten sick? Why have his children died? And they began to logically conclude that it was because of some evil that Job had done. But Job maintained his integrity, said, no, I didn't do anything. I was not a thief. I did not have secret sin in my heart. I did not uh, defraud anybody. Job said, all of this has not come because of my goodness or my lack of it. And so his three friends, they kept demanding that his evil was because of his own actions. Today, I want to let you know that the goodness of the Lord comes to us, not because we're good, but time and chance happeneth unto them all. There are many times good things happen to us and bad things happen to us. And sometimes the good is not directly connected to the blessing and neither is the bad directly connected to the curse. According to the scripture, time and chance happens to everyone. It rains on the just and the unjust. There are many times you're trying to find out the reason why. Why have negative things happened? Why do bad things happen to good people? Well, the truth is we don't always know why. Even as Job's friends did not know why. One thing I'll give you, when you're looking for why, remember this verse that I learned as a young child, to trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not into your own understanding. That is, you won't always understand things, but in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.